Welcome back to another episode of Carson's Aquatics. First things first, thank you guys so much for the amazing support and kind words on my last video. You guys are so nice and I really appreciate you guys a lot. But anyway, today I'm gonna to be throwing you guys back to a week and a half ago when I found my new baby turtle, Sheldon Jr. and I set up the 20 gallon long tank for him. I filmed the entire process and I never filmed an intro, so here it is. And with that being said, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video. Well guys, uh, I was just going for a morning bike ride. And look at that. I almost ran over him. Tiny baby red eared slider. I mean, how am I not supposed to take this guy home? You already know it's about to go down. So uh, I still have a long way to go, but I guess I'm just gonna hold him and we're gonna get this guy home. All right guys, so we made it back to my house. It was difficult because my bike tire popped. So I had to walk it all the way back like a mile, but we made it back. We have some tank water right here. This guy is a little bit dirty. So we're gonna wash him off. And this is probably the first time he's like been in water in a while because he looks pretty dried up. So that'll probably be a big relief for him. Right when we picked him up, he was like standing still, really scared, but now he's being really lively. Oh my God. <laughs> so I'm just going real lightly with this toothbrush. Don't want to be too rough because they are fragile when they're this young. All right guys, so we got this guy all cleaned up. I have him in this pitcher with about a half inch of water. What I'm gonna do right now is actually go to Home Depot and PetSmart to pick up the last two things I need for my turtle tub, which you actually saw in the last video. I have to finish the turtle tub so I can get Sheldon out there so that I can set up this tank for our new baby red ear slider. So I don't know where I'm gonna pick up next, but I'll see you then. All right, so I'm back in my house. I just finished setting up Sheldon's outdoor pond. So now we can start redesigning his tank for a baby turtle. We are gonna be using this turtle cliff thing that I got at that one bankrupt store. Here's the video of that. I knew I would need it eventually, and that's what we're gonna be using today. So let's unbox this thing. Let's see, you got a couple extra filters. And there's the thing. Oh yeah, it's nice. Here's the filter. I better read the manual for this one. I'm playing. So let's see, this. Probably goes like this. Uh, you know what? I will read the manual for once. Put that on here. So yeah, there we go. This goes down like that. And what the heck? A few moments later. All right, so I got this thing figured out. I kind of had to cut it though, but oh well, it fits now. So that's what it's gonna be like. Pretty cool thing. And there's holes at the bottom of it and the filter sucks it in like that, spits it back out. I'm gonna go rinse this entire thing down and then we'll get into the actual tank. All right, so we're now gonna get into the actual tank. First of all, we're gonna get this big basking area off of there. We're not gonna use that for now. Now I wanna keep this filter in there because that's been in there for like as long as this tank has been set up. So that already has a bunch of beneficial bacteria in it. We wanna keep that in here. So we're gonna have double filters going on this thing. What I'm gonna do next is take out all the rocks and then I'm going to clean out the sand. That'll also get the water level to where we need it because the water isn't gonna be all the way to the top. So let's grab all these rocks. We're now gonna clean out the sand. All right, so we're now gonna put in our turtle cliff thing. And I'm actually gonna put this on this side because I don't wanna have to mess with all the power lines and like reroute the wires to the lamp. So I'm gonna put that over here. This is gonna be the basking area. And I'm just gonna move that filter over there. For this tank, we are gonna need to use the reptile lamp stand. So I'm just gonna get the platform in place. We got our lamp stand platform in place. I'm now gonna lower the water level to where it needs to be. All right, so we got that at the proper level. I'm now gonna plug in the cliff thing and see how it looks. Oh, dang, that's strong. Oh my gosh, that is way stronger than I thought it was gonna be. I just went ahead and plugged in the other filter. I'm gonna get that situated how I want it to be. Yeah, I think we're gonna go with something like that. I'm also gonna put in these plants. So now the last thing to do is hook up the lamp. I do also have a 20 gallon lid, so might as well throw that on there. And there we go. I'm gonna add in some beneficial bacteria starter just because we do have a new filter, so that'll just help that one get started up. That should be good. As for the fish, these three Buenos Aires Tetras. For now, I'm gonna leave them in here. They do have a lot of room to swim. This is 
about 10 gallons. That is still kind of small. So if I see signs of them like being stressed, then I'll just move them to my community tank. But yeah, this tank is done. We're gonna give this like 20 or 30 minutes to just kind of cycle through, let the water clear up a little bit, and then we're putting our new baby red-eared slider in here. All right, so it's been about 25 minutes. We're now gonna put our baby turtle into his new home. Start him up on the basking area, and there he goes. Immediately into the water. And oh, oh, he went right back up onto the basking area. That is crazy, I've never seen that before. He went from the basking area into the water, back onto the basking area. It's like, yo, this heat feels good. You ain't getting out, homie. Hate to break it to you. You better make yourself at home. What is he doing? And there he goes. The water is still a bit murky and it's probably gonna be like that for at least a few days. And he's already going back up on the land. This guy must not like swimming. <laughs> he hopped in the water, said nope, went back on the land. Hopped back in the water, said nope again. That's funny. Maybe he just doesn't know how to swim yet. It does not look like he likes the water. I bet he's gonna get, hop straight out. Yep. look at that. That is funny. Dang. Yo, he got some good upper body strength. All right, so it's now been over a week since I found this turtle. I was just taking some time off because of the whole Sheldon situation. If you missed my last video, my recent turtle Sheldon passed away. So I've just been dealing with that. But a lot of progress has been made with the new turtle, who I actually named Franklin before, but I changed his name to Sheldon Jr. There he is. But first I want to talk about the changes I made to the tank. First of all, there used to be a filter right here. I decided to take that out because there was just so much flow in this tank and he is still a baby. The muscles he uses to swim aren't like that strong yet. So I didn't want to have too much flow in the tank. Plus this little cliff, it has enough flow by itself. So I took that filter out. It's also a lot more quiet, which I love. <laughs> also, I added in that little floating basking dock. I did that because he does really like to be on the land. So I just wanted to give him more places he could go. But also, like the day and the day after I got him, he literally, it seemed like he was scared of the water. And he really might have been, but this past week, he has been going in the water more and more and staying in there. Last night, he even slept in the water and just like clung on to the cliff. So he's starting to act like an actual aquatic turtle. The three Buenos Aires Tetras are doing great. Oh, there's one of them back there. As you can see right there, he's actually kind of coming over to me. I have been training him. I swear at this point, I'm like the turtle whisperer. I had this turtle trained in like a week. I can hand feed him. He comes over to me whenever he sees me. Here, just let me show you. Right here, got a little dried shrimp. Boom. So yeah, I've been feeding him those dried shrimp as well as these pellets. These are hatchling pellets, very high in protein so they can start growing. The first few days, I did put him in a separate container with a bunch of food just to kind of train him to get him to start eating the pellets. I did get a little clip of the first time I did that, so here's that. Well guys, it's been about three days and he wasn't eating anything. I put him in this small container with a bunch of pellets and shrimp and he just ate like three pellets. Of course, when I pick up the camera, he stops eating. The reason it's wrapped in a towel is because he could see out of this container, so he was like trying to like get out. But yeah, if you're struggling having your new turtle start eating this is a good way to do it just put him in a smaller container with a bunch of food i want to get him like eating on camera yep there he goes so i might have to do this a few times like put him in this container to eat but eventually he'll start getting used to the pellets and he'll be able to start eating them in the tank so yeah that's what i had to do the first few times but now he is trained to eat these pellets and shrimp so i can just drop them in the tank and he'll eat them so yeah He's doing great. I usually let you guys name my new pets, but this guy is Sheldon Jr. Oh, pff, pff. Sheldon will live on through this little guy. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Super excited to have this little guy. I don't have today's comment of the day yet because I haven't uploaded my previous video yet, but it'll be right here. It's gonna be something nice about Sheldon, so. Thank you, I do appreciate that, whatever it is. I usually read out the comments, so if you want your comment to be the comment of the day in the next video, all you gotta do is drop a comment down below, and that could happen. And if you liked this video, be sure to hit that like button, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button, turn on post notifications, and I am gonna see you in the next video.
Oh, 